subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Young Sheldon delivered inevitable, heartbreaking episode, How the Show Handled George's Death. From the moment Young Sheldon was announced in 2016, fans of The Big Bang Theory wondered how the spin-off would address Sheldon's father's death. For a long time, the show's writers didn't have to think about how they would deal with it. It was something way off in the distance while they built a sweet family comedy. But that only made the inevitable more difficult, since viewers grew to love George Cooper Sr., Lance Barber, a kind man who usually didn't understand his genius son, Ian Armitage, but was always proud of him. Maybe it doesn't have to happen, we hoped. Young Sheldon has changed plenty of stuff adult Sheldon said about his childhood on The Big Bang Theory, and maybe this would be another one. But we knew in our hearts that that would be too big of a change. George wasn't going to make it to the end of Young Sheldon. And in the third to last episode of the series, A New Home and a Traditional Texas Torture, it happened. George Cooper Sr. died of a heart attack. The Coopers were on the verge of big changes. Sheldon was preparing to move to California for graduate school at Caltech, while George, Mary, Zoe Perry, and Missy, Reagan Rivord, were in the early stages of moving to Houston for George's new job as a football coach at Rice University. It was a dream come true for him. Sheldon was mad at his parents for the move, because he felt like he wouldn't have a home anymore. He doesn't do well with change, and he was facing a huge change in the form of his own cross-country move. That morning, George went off to work like any other day. By the afternoon, the whole family was gathered, waiting for him to come home so they could take a family photo in a field of bluebells before Sheldon moves away.